Happy Monday, everyone. This is Bria again, and we're gonna do some all levels flow today. Just a few announcements per usual. Welcome to all levels flow yoga. Yoga Arc wants you to put your health first. Yoga is an activity that requires physical exertion. Please ensure you are in the proper health to do yoga. And if you are unsure or have an existing medical condition, please consult your doctor or physician before beginning a yoga regimen. If you cannot have undue pressure in your head for any reason, it is important that you listen to your body when practicing any of the yoga poses or breathing techniques taught in this practice. Make sure you stop and refrain from any of the poses or breathing techniques that you may find add undue pressure. By continuing with this class or video, you, the viewer, is agreeing to and accepting the terms of our waiver, which can be found on our website, yogasarc.com. I'm a trainee in the Yoga Sark Mentoring Program. I recently received my teaching certificate. Thank you for taking this class. We welcome all feedback. Suggestions, please silence all devices, wear comfortable clothing and have water near you. Hydration is important. If you wish, you may dim the lights and put on your favorite music to play while you're taking this class. Listed below, we also have a donation link if you feel called to give or can give in any way, anything helps. With that said, let's get started. We're gonna begin in a comfortable seat, either laying down to if that feels better for your body. And we're gonna begin with some belly breathing. With belly breathing, I like taking my right hand and just placing it on my belly. I also like closing my eyes if you feel comfortable to do so or lowering your gaze to center you into the space. When we inhale, Let's imagine we're inflating a balloon in our belly as our belly expands, seeing how big we can make that balloon get. And when we exhale, see if we can slowly exhale, not letting all the air out of the balloon at once. Slowly inflating our balloon and deflating it. Becoming more conscious of our breathing and deepening it grounding us into this space for two minutes starting now. Inflating, filling up all the way, getting every last sip of air. Slowly deflating not letting all the air rush out at once. As we're beginning to ground ourselves with our breath, I offer this time to set an intention for practice, a goal, whatever comes to your mind. One more minute here, allowing your breath to be this anchor throughout your practice. Knowing you can come back here at any time. Letting your breath return back to normal. Take a moment to observe how that breath exercise makes your body feel. Meeting me in a comfortable seat, beginning to add some movement. Let's begin with some cat cows, placing our hands on top of our knees. So we inhale, roll the shoulders back. Expand the chest, gaze up. Exhaling, pushing back, rounding our spine, curving forward. Two more, inhale, rolling the shoulders back, gazing up. Exhale, rounding through the spine. One more with your own breath.
meeting me in neutral, some hip circles first to our right, wakening up our spine. One more, let's reverse that direction. One more, meeting me in center, beginning with some side bends. Inhale, reaching up to the side, sky. Exhale, dropping our left arm. Big stretch. Inhale to center, exhale, dropping the right. Flowing between our sides, inhale, center. Exhale on the side. Allowing our movement and breath to be connected and our breath be guiding our pace. One more on the other side. Big inhale, we're reaching, twisting to our right. Same idea. Inhale, center, exhaling the other way. Inhale, exhale. One more on each side, really extending our spine. Gently twisting, just warming up our body. Meeting me in tabletop, we're gonna begin a sun salutation. I made my own, so a little different. Trying something new. Tabletop, having our fingers spread out wide, tucking the back toes under, first down dog of practice. Reaching up through our hips, taking five breaths here, maybe walking the feet out for three, two, one, walking the feet up, exhale, forward fold, generous bend in the knees, always with forward folds, and now halfway lift, lengthening through the spine, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, arms to heart center. Let's begin flowing. Inhale, arms up, big reach. Exhale, forward fold. Dropping the hands, inhale the down dog. Really generous bend in the knees here. For three, two, one, inhale. Coming to tabletop, dropping the knees, adjusting so your hips and knees are in line. Three cat cows here. Inhale, reaching forward, dropping the belly towards the mat. Exhale, rounding through our spine like a cat. Inhale, dropping the belly. Exhale, rounding through the shoulder blades. One more. Moving with your breath. Meeting me in neutral. You wanna make sure for this next part you have something soft underneath for a knees to offer protection, whether it's a blanket or a mat. Inhale, left leg between the hands just for a low lunge. Inhale, big stretch for three, two, one, exhaling the hands down, sending it back to tabletop, tucking our toes. Now pushing them down, flattening out, three more cat cows. Inhaling, dropping the navel, exhaling, pushing through our belly. Two more. Seeing if we can keep our breath connected to our movement throughout practice. One more. 
meeting me in center, this time bringing the right leg through, inhaling up, beginning to open up our hips for three, two, one, exhaling the hands down, back to tabletop, going to tuck our back toes to down dog, keeping that generous bend for three, two, one, inhale, walking our feet to meet the hands, exhale, forward fold, letting it all hang, inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the spine, exhale, forward fold, inhale, Tadasana, exhale, arms, to heart center. We got a few more rounds, so let's get it. <laughs> inhale, reaching arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, dropping the arms, stepping back, down dog. For three, two, one, meeting the end tabletop. Three cat cows here. Your breath, your pace. Checking in with your body and these cat cows. Are we building up some heat? Next inhale, bringing the left leg through. Inhaling up, low lunge, deepening for three, two, one. Bringing the arms down, stepping back to tabletop. Three more cat cows. Feeling our spine wake up, our chest expand a little bit. One more. In neutral, next inhale, bringing the right leg through, inhaling the arms up, deepening our stretch for three, two, and one, dropping the arms down, back to tabletop. Tucking the back toes, lifting through our hips to tabletop, to down dog. Generous bend. Next, inhale, walking our feet to meet our hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhale, arms, heart center. Taking a moment here, checking in with yourself, your body, mind, soul. Let's do another round. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Dropping the hands, stepping back, down dog. Next inhale, dropping the tabletop. Exhaling down, three cat cows. Inhale, dropping the belly. Exhale, pushing, rounding the spine. One more. Meeting me in neutral. Inhaling, left leg through. Inhaling, reaching the arms up, deepening in our low lunge for three, two, one. Exhaling the hands down, back to tabletop. Three more cat cows. Checking in with our breath. Are we still moving with it? Meeting in neutral, inhaling the right leg through. Inhaling up, right leg, low lunge. Big stretch, three, two, one. Exhaling the hands down, back to tabletop. Inhaling, tucking the back toes, pushing up to down dog. For three, two, one, inhaling, walking our feet 
Meet our hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms to heart center. Check in with ourselves, taking a moment here, maybe shaking it out. We got this. Hopefully we're feeling all warm inside. Let's keep flowing. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stepping back to down dog. Next inhale, bringing our right leg up. Maybe bending it, opening the hip for one moment. Hip circle. Squaring the hips. Inhale, bringing the right leg through. Next inhale, we're going to squeeze, engage, coming up to high lunge. Finding that control. Exhaling to warrior two, checking our alignment here. Can we see our front toes? Is our back toe? Facing you. If so, let's continue. Inhale, flipping the front arm forward, reversing our warrior, tucking our arm behind. Big reach, extending. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale to triangle pose, straightening, not locking out that front leg, reaching forward with our hips, hinging. Then slowly rotating our arms down for three, two, one. Inhaling, reversing our warrior, sending it back. Round of breath here. Next inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, high lunge. Exhaling all the way to the hands down. Inhale, sending the left leg, right leg up. Exhaling it back to down dog. Taking a moment here. Next inhale, walking your feet, meet your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, Tadasana. Exhale, arms to heart center. We got another side to do. You got it. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Placing the hands down. Inhaling, stepping back to down dog. Taking an exhale here. Inhaling that left leg up this time. Giving it a bend. Opening our knee and our hip. Inhaling, straightening it and bringing it through. Squeezing, exhaling, inhaling up to high lunge. Exhaling to warrior two. Again, checking our alignment here. Seeing if we can see our toes, where our back foot is pointed. Settling in. Inhaling, reversing the warrior. Really reaching up with that left hand. Tucking the back right for three, two, one. Exhaling, warrior two. Inhaling, we're straightening the front leg, not locking it out. Beginning of, we're reaching for an apple with our left hand, slowly hinging at the hips for triangle for three, two, one. Inhaling, reversing back our warrior. Big stretch, round of breath. Inhaling back, warrior two. Exhaling, high lunge. Round of breath, exhaling the hands down. Inhaling that left leg back up. Exhaling it down for down dog. Next inhale, walking our feet to meet our hands here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling arms to heart center. 
Let's do that flow again. We got it. I know you do. Inhaling arms up, reaching. Exhale, forward fold, dropping the hands, stepping back to down dog. Inhaling our left leg up, bending it, opening it up. Inhaling it back to center, stepping that left leg through. Engaging our glutes and thighs. Inhaling up to high lunge. Exhaling, warrior two. Taking our moment here, checking our alignment. Inhaling, reversing our warrior. Big stretch. Next inhale, begin hinging at our hips. Again, reaching forward, reaching, reaching, then hinging for three, two, and one. Inhaling back, reversing that warrior. Taking two rounds of breath. Next exhale, releasing to warrior two. Inhaling to high lunge. Exhaling our hands down. Inhaling, stepping left leg up. Exhaling it down, three leg down dog. Next inhale, walking the feet to meet the hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling arms to heart center. Taking a moment here, checking in before we do that other side again. If you're with me, inhaling arms up to the sky. Exhaling forward fold, dropping the hands, stepping back, down dog. Inhaling our right leg up, maybe bending it, opening the hip. Inhaling back to center, bringing that right leg through, squeezing, engaging. Inhaling, high lunge. Exhaling, warrior two. Checking our alignment, making sure we're all settled. <laughs> Inhaling, reversing that hand. Reverse warrior. Seeing if we can keep space between our ear and our arm. Next exhale, begin reaching forward, straightening, not locking out that front leg. Triangle pose. For three, two, one. Inhaling back, reversing that warrior. Exhaling, warrior two. Inhaling. High lunge, exhaling, dropping the hands down with control. Inhaling, right leg up, exhaling, right leg down. Inhale, walking our feet to meet our hands. Exhale, forward fold. Taking three breaths here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. All the way up. Exhale, arms to heart center. Yay, we flowed, we flowed. Now, a little bit more, a little balance. In Tadasana, we're gonna have our feet so they're hip width apart. Inhale, arms up. As we exhale, lower our hands in front of us as we're sinking back into a chair. There's a front angle. And there's a side angle. Just holding for three breaths. For three, two, one. Inhaling, reaching the arms up. Exhaling, arms to heart center. Beginning to take our stance so it's as wide as our mat or bigger than hip width. How it looks from the front. Turning our heels in so our toes are pointed outwards. Let's do some goddess sun breaths. So as we inhale, arms reach. Big stretch, lengthening the spine. Exhale, little squat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sigh it all out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sigh it all out. One more. 
Inhale, reach. Amazing. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, arms to heart center. Keeping our wide stance, just turning our toes so they're facing forward. Generous bend, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Wide leg forwards fold. Make sure you have a generous bend in the knees. Allowing everything to kind of just hang. Hanging here for 30 seconds. Letting it all go. Maybe shaking our head, yes. Maybe shaking our head, no. <laughs> Good rhyme, right? Begin taking your hands and moving them towards your left foot. Still on your forward fold, pushing into your right hip. Breathing deeply into it. Getting all those sides here. Next inhale, pause and center. Exhaling towards your right foot. Using your breath here to guide you. Inhaling back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening through our spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling, arms to heart center. Shaking it out. Seeing how that feels. Just gonna do a little balance before slowing it down. Some tree. Finding center, begin shifting all your weight onto your right leg, making sure there's a bend in it. Then we're gonna bring kickstand, our left leg out. This is treat. If you need something a little more uh, advanced or challenging for your posture and your balance, bringing the bottom of our foot on the outside of our shin, avoiding the knee area. Controlling your breath here, growing your branches up. For three, two, one, gently placing the foot down, shaking it out. Now the other side, again, shifting all your weight this time into your left foot Keeping a generous bend again in that standing leg. Begin going on your tippy toe of your right foot, twisting it out. This is tree. You're welcome to put it on the outside of your shin, avoiding that knee area. For three, two, one. Dropping it out, shaking it out. Into Dasana. Inhaling, arms all the way up, big, big reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, dropping the hands to tabletop. Beginning to slow it down here. We're gonna take our feet a little bit wider so our back toes are touching like a V for child's pose. I begin taking my hands up front and pushing, allowing my glutes to go towards my heels. We'll be here for a minute, really allowing our heart rate to slow down, our mind to slow down, and hopefully reconnect into our breath space. Coming back to that intention as well, checking in with yourself and how that's going. Noticing how your body and mind feel here. 
a few more deep breaths here. Begin coming up a little bit and bringing your hands to the left corner of your mat. Just deepening, pushing into your right side, right hip. Just for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling to center. Exhaling now, bringing your hands to your right corner of your mat. For five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, bringing your hands by your head, pushing back up to a comfortable seat. From a comfortable seat, moving into seated butterfly, bringing the soles of your feet so they touch. If you need more of an inside inner hip stretch, maybe try bringing your hips closer to your pelvic, your heels closer to your pelvic floor. If you're looking for more of an outer glute hip stretch, maybe bringing your heels further away from your pelvic floor. So whatever your body needs. And just taking, taking a minute here, noticing what your body is asking for. Is it asking for little wing pulses? Is it needing a forward fold in this? Is it needing a little pressure? Just seeing what our body needs here. Taking a few more deep breaths here. Slowly folding our legs in. We're gonna be on our back now for the rest of practice. Actually, first doing the same pose we just did, but reclined. So with reclined butterfly, you're laying down, soles of your feet again, touching. Same thing we did, except we're lying on our back. If this is uncomfortable to you at all in any way, Please refrain from doing so. You're welcome. Staying here with your knees up. You're welcome to extend them out forward. Just taking a moment here. I love doing belly breathing here. Checking in with your breath. Beginning to slow it down. Few more breaths here. Slowly, maybe using your hands, folding your legs in, hugging them into our chest. If you have a soft cushion surface under you, maybe rolling on your spine, do not recommend doing it on a hard surface. Maybe your body just wants to be not moving. Just a nice hug. And as we're here, so let's say one positive thing to ourselves. Sending that love inward. Giving you a moment to do so. With once that one positive thing is set, let's extend our left leg, keeping our right leg into our chest, moving your hips a little to the right. So your left knee or your right knee falls over your left and do a spinal twist. You're welcome to take your left hand, kind of hold it here. We want to keep pressure. You're welcome to just have our arms in a T just really, hopefully releasing any tension. Being here for a minute or two. 
seeing if we can be present in this moment. We can use our breath as an anchor to this moment in time. Being where our feet are. Just acknowledging how this side of your body feels as well. For different sides and parts of our body often feel differently. A few more deep breaths here. Slowly begin untwisting, bringing your left knee into your chest, hugging that spine first, hugging them in. Again, let's send one more positive thing into our hearts. It can be as simple as, I like my shirt. Maybe you like your hair today. Maybe you got commotion. Just sending something kind inside. Slowly this time extending our right leg out in front of us, taking our hips to the left an inch, allowing that left leg to fall over. Same amount of time here, two minutes. Checking in with our bodies, how this feels on this side. And noticing if our body is trying to tell us anything. seeing how your breath is here. Is it still conscious breathing, even though it's slowed down? Are we thinking about what we're eating for lunch? Or are we here with all these feelings, emotions? One more minute. And if it ever becomes too much, it is your practice. So adjusting for what your body needs. Taking a few more deep breaths here. Slowly untwisting yourself. Let's hug our knees into our chest one last time, guys. And you know what I'm gonna say. One more positive thing or kind thing. Maybe even neutral thing. Just sending that love in. After the big squeeze, finding a comfortable position you're okay being in for a few minutes. Maybe it's just laying down, laying down flat, or on a side, or on a seat, leaning up against something. Go ahead and find that comfortable position now. Begin 
allowing all the tension in your body to melt away. If you need help finding that tension, maybe doing a quick body scan. Starting with your head and your neck. Noticing what's going on there. Is there soreness? Tightness? Is the mind heavy? How does your jaw feel? Moving downward into our chest. Noticing how our heart rate is, how fast it is beating or how slow. Noticing how our lungs are getting the vital oxygen from the air we breathe in. Releasing the CO2 that we do not need. Seeing if there's any tension or lingering emotion there. Noticing if our arms, what they feel like. Maybe they're heavy or light or tense or bendy. Moving to the hip and pelvic floor region and the glutes. Noticing what is there, if anything comes up, physical or emotional. Moving down the leg, how do our knees feel? Do they need a break? Finishing off your body, noticing how your feet and ankles are as they hold our weight as we walk in this lifetime. Once we noticed where this tension or negative energy is, allow your body to release it. Allow what does not serve you anymore to part ways. If you are laying down, slowly rolling onto one of your sides, using your arm to push you up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hand to your heart space if you feel comfortable to do so. Thank yourself for showing up today and prioritizing your needs. Thank yourself for releasing unwanted energy or emotions. Thank you 
for allowing me to lead you in this practice. Thank you for trusting me to do so. May the peace you created for yourselves today stay with you. I'll be closing class today with the Om Shanti Shanti, which is Sanskrit for wishing peace and peace and more peace into the universe. Om Shanti 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 Namaste. Thank you all very much. Please feel free to leave any questions or recommendations. We always accept feedback and I look forward to being here with you guys again.